Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning. Good morning. How is everybody? How are we doing today? It's Fart Around Friday. And uh, yeah, we are just, that's what we're doing. Hey, Artsy, wait, let me, sorry, I my microphone, the microphone went away. Um, Artsy Batbrook is here and says, good morning. How are you this morning, friend? Hey, how are we? Doing all right. Mr. Snipe says, hi, Scott. Hello. Oh, wait, we have highs all over the place. Um, Hello, everybody. And we have a Gail saying, good morning from California. Fabulous Barter on Friday. How are you two doing? We're celebrating Easter with my bestie and her fam for the first time, and I'm excited. Oh, that's great. Yay. Bethany says, hello, my favorite tea and crumpets. Ringers are rung and mods are here. Um, Drastically Me says, OMG, you're doing a Pacific Islander? I am. That would be correct. Why are you drawing today? Ray, because it's another day to draw. Every day is a good day to draw. Exactly. Annika says hello from Vermont. Good hello. evening, Scott. We have a Steph nerd here. What a coincidence. I'm literally watching Moana with the girl I'm babysitting. Oh, that's <laughs> cute. Oh, let's see. Hello. It's evening here in Kashmir. Hello. And this person just broke their fast. <clears throat> well, I am sure that that feels good. Hello from Scotland. Hello, Scotland. Hi, I'm making an Easter hat. That's Baltimore. Gaming Oreo says hi. Jackie says, yeah, I finally managed to get to a stream on time. You did. Gigi Welcome. says, hello, I hope you have a nice day. Thank you. Spookums says, good morning from Utah. Good Alex morning. Alex says, what's up, dude? Hey, Alec. Oh, it's Alex. Alex. Uh, the storytelling Rose sent you a tip and says, hey, glad to see you live here. Thank you. Um, first live from my favorite painter. Hi oh, from Manchester. Are... I, being an Islander woman from Tonga, love this. That's drastically me. Oh, fantastic. That was, there's a little heart emoji there. I need to tell you that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so um, I, I want to... So this was, just so you guys know, this was the AI generated image that um, inspired it, right? And and basically what I did was, I, I've been doing that for a bunch of these just to kind of just play around. And, and I won't get into the whole, because there's been some amazing conversations that I've been having with people uh, on the video that I did uh, about AI. And again, stealing art is bad. So the fact that they're doing that is 100% bad. But I still wanted to see, so I got the free trial. So I still wanted to see what kind of images could spark some inspiration. So I used this, but I found this photo and I really like this. Uh, I, I like I like how her jaw is and I like the shape of every, everything. So I'm kind of blending too. But what I got the inspiration from, uh, from this was a little bit of the, the way that the... Um, the dress was in the necklace, but also the way that the hair goes back and around. And it's very similar to... There's a lot of comments, so you need to talk faster. The Indian one. So um, so we're gonna have a very similar one. So the Indian and the, and the Pacific Islander one will be similar. So what I need to do though is, I need to make sure that the hair has these nice curls like that. So if you look, yeah, they're kind of together and, and curly. So we're gonna try to get that in there. Oh, and I also got, um, hold on, Tribal hibiscus plants. Flowers. Flowers. Um, Travel Cat wants you, says, can you please write a poem? Write a poem? Yep. Oh um, gosh. I'm sure it's night for a lot of people here. Um, Sig Maver is, says, good morning from California. Lucy says, good morning. How are you? Have a nice day. Glad to start mine with you. Oh, thank you. Abigail says, hi from London. I Hello. love London. The Daily Sigh says, good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Sava. How's the view from the Hobbit hole today? Wow. 
Very, it, very formal of you. It is very, it's, it's cloudy today. Yep, it's cloudy and cold. You guys, it's so funny. It, we were out, not yesterday, but the day before walking. Or was it yesterday walking? Yeah, the yeah. no, day before. So two days ago, we're out walking the dog. And we came home and we decided we were going to go outside and just get some air and everything again. So we're walking around the front yard. And within, you could see the storm blow in. It just... The wind started picking up through the trees. Yeah, Our neighbors the across the street dark have and, all these yeah. trees. Everything just, it literally just came like a blanket over the sky. It was just big gust of and wind it, came. And, and it dropped 20 degrees in like 20 minutes. It yeah. was insane. And so it was 82 days ago. Yep. And then it like yep. 20 minutes after the, after the you know, like the storm blew in. It was like maybe 20 minutes just blew in. And then the temperature dropped 20 yep. degrees. Yep. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, hi from the Netherlands. We have a Nixia here this morning. Hello, Nixia. Artsy Baprick says, doing okay this morning. I'm glad I can get back to painting after having to take a few days break. How are you both doing? We are good, we thank are you. We are doing well. We are This is going to be the well. last uh, woman in these series. Mm -hmm. um, so this will be number eight in the series. And then I will make uh, stickers for oh, them. Yes. And, and we'd like to know if you guys would want us to make uh, to do another uh, Kickstarter for you know the, the prints that look like these. Would you want something like this again, or are stickers enough? Um, okay, so let's see. Good morning from Texas. I hope you and your wife are having a wonderful day. Oh, thank you. Salute from the French. Hello. Land of wonderful wine and croissant. Yes, we saw Disney's making a live action Moana. Thanks to The Rock from posting that. Um, uh, someone had a, a funny take on it. It was like it's actually really smart because he can take all of his cheat days now to you know to get fat to to match nice. the, the all cartoon of his cheat version. Days. Let's see. Drummer Boy reacts says, "Good morning, Scott. What is your favorite brand of art supplies, and what is your favorite food?" All of my favorite brands are on the website, and I'm sure the mods can give you a link for that. My favorite food Donna made last night. It is. I did. Uh, it's a stew called sherva. Mm -hmm. It's an Assyrian dish. Uh, it's my a red stew, used. tomato yeah. based. Yeah. And uh, and I have had acid all night because of it. <laughs> so, he has all uh, night long. Kept me yep. up all night. All night. But was it worth it? Yeah, totally. Bethany says, I've been getting requests for them as prints. All right. Both these prints are gorgeous. And Howdy from I will Florida. I will have prints made up. Oh, Juliana says, started off my morning kind of rough. This just lifted my spirits. Oh. Yes, I would love prints. Whoa, those prints are super cool. The prints that Scott just had, those are the hair journal ones. Those are the hair journal. They're on the website. Yeah, those are already up on the website, so... Hi from Montreal. We don't have power here. Oh my God. I'm sorry. But I heard it snowed and you had a big storm. I hope you're keeping warm. Will you draw ink monsters again soon, Scott? Yes, I need to call uh, Kim and we need to schedule something. I, I've just been um, busy with the with the the animated series that I'm working on. Mm-hmm. Where do you find that AI tool you have there? That is a, a website called Mid Journey. It's actually on Discord, but you, you got to go to the website and then get a Discord link, and then they give you yeah. a thirty day free trial. Do you have tips for drawing flowers and off of images? Uh, well, you just watched. I just looked at a photo. Um, I, I, you you know, can trace it too. Yeah, you could trace it if you need to. Um, Jade says, hi from South Africa. What watercolor brand do you recommend for beginners? And hey, Donna and Scott. Uh, my favorite is Windsor & Newton. And Windsor & Newton does make a, um, a student brand, a student grade. Mm -hmm. uh, Called the which Cotman, is Cotman set. Which is on mm -hmm. my website. Mm -hmm. And then um, there was link. the Grabby set, which is mm -hmm. uh, cheaper, much cheaper. Mm -hmm. um, and then, um, but... Yeah, I would say Windsor and Newton is my favorite. And but really with watercolor, you need the uh the paper is what you're looking for. Yeah. Paper is more important than the watercolor at this point when you're especially when you're learning. And good morning to Blick. Hey Blick. 
I got my paper in. Oh, he did. I he got is... three different sizes of Arches paper. We got the box yesterday and someone was giddy. He was like, I said, what did you order? He goes, the paper, you ordered it for me. Yeah. Remember? And I was like, oh, yeah. But he was so excited. We had to go in the kitchen and open it up on the counter so he could stack all the paper up together and look at the new, look at the new papers and the new sizes. Is this the three? Which one is this again? This is the five or the three? This is um. I can't remember which one this one is. So, <laughs> Cookie Monster says, "I love the Ink Monster so much." <laughs> this is the one I normally have. And I would cut it in half. Mm -hmm. So it's nine by 12, so I'd cut it four and a half by 12. Mm -hmm. um, this one is almost the same length, mm -hmm. but I had to thin it up a little bit. That's why we have this here and here um, to make it equal to four so and a half. Put the lid down and show us what size that is. This is the. 5.9? Yeah, by 11.8. Yeah. And yeah. then I've got this little teeny tiny one. Look at this. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. Put one of the hair journal uh, prints on top of that. Because I did that yesterday. And I was like, look, it's almost it's the, size, almost of the a, size of that. Yeah. Yeah, of the hair journal print. Isn't that cute? So, yeah, so I'll find some fun stuff to paint on this one, too. But, that one would be cute to do like bookmarks of the 3 by 11, 3.9 yeah. by 11. That would be cute. Let's see. See, hi from Dubai. It's currently Ramadan and I'm fasting, but your art makes me oh. hungry and I don't know why you're so funny. Um, let's see. What are the best beginner friendly colored pencils? Um, I, I think the, gosh, what, what were they, honey? Were they? Artex. Artex? Yeah. Artex. I did a video on them mm -hmm. and you should find them. They were link. 72 pencils and they were 26. Seven ninety nine, I think it was. That was the best cost friendly yeah. one that I found. Yeah, that, and those are on Amazon. And and again, they, they I would never use them again. They weren't great. Um, but if you but, want cheap colored pencils, yeah, that was to for start the price, with. right? And 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 and, and I'll, there's a video on why I don't use colored pencils anymore, mm -hmm. um, and it's because they they're very expensive. I know people think that they're you know they they think that they're kind of more of a beginner kind of thing but they're really expensive well they are when your pencil sharpener eats the whole pencil yeah that's true <laughs> in one sitting i mean i i, oh. I i've i had this tube of you know paints gray and i go through a lot of paints gray but i've had this mm -hmm. tube of paints gray for probably at least a year and mm -hmm. it's still probably got half um still left um it, it they last pretty well um will you make a coloring book I don't think so. I, I have a couple of, um, I have a couple of, of coloring pages There's on our website. There's several coloring pages on download, the website, but yeah. I just, I'm not that fond of my inking. I think a lot of people would disagree with you. Well, I, I clean up a lot of my mistakes in mm -hmm. the, in the painting, the, the painting. Yeah. And so I see all of the mistakes. That gal, I can't remember her name, that we went to Venice with who did the line art. Oh, yeah. My yeah. God, her line was art was so amazing. Good. I hope at some point she makes a coloring book. Um, okay, so uh, this person um, asks if you can give tips for people drawing. And I think I'm going to refer you guys to the Art Hacks playlist because there are so many videos there on people. Um, hands and faces and ears and noses and eyes and proportions and everything else. So start there. And then if you have something specific that you're having trouble with, put that question into the chat. Do you still do Music Mondays? Uh, yeah, we did. Who did we do on Music Monday this, this week? David Grohl. Did yeah, we did David, David Grohl? Grohl from uh, Foo Fighters. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Love from Pakistan. I am greatly oh. inspired and I want to learn art. I am at the first stages. That's Shazeb. Good for you. Nice. I love that you want to learn. Have you ever tried charcoal drawing? Uh, yeah, we had to do all of our figure drawing because we did three hours of figure drawing class uh, every day in art school. And that was all done in um, charcoal. Um, what type of brushes do you use when you watercolor? 
I am currently using a, um, a set from Etcher Labs that they sent me. Mm -hmm. um, I like the synthetic brush brushes. I like anything that'll hold the point. And he doesn't have to clean. Yeah, because I don't clean them. Mm -hmm. So, um, Lick, if you can recommend anything that is affordable that will hold a point mm -hmm. uh, for a long time without any cleaning, like a synthetic, mm -hmm. that's what I... Yeah. Because because these are fifty dollars for the set and they're okay. You know they're 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 not bad. But um, my travel set lasted longer and those were I think twelve dollars. Twelve or fifteen. They were not expensive. Have you ever done any flip books? I did. I mean, I would I would do animation in in my sketchbooks uh, when I was in junior high and high school. Do you have any tips for pencil pressure? Um, not that I know of. I mean, I think uh, that's that's just more of a feel type of thing. But um, let's see. I'll, a thing I want to um, to do is draw my friend and her crush. But what do you think I should use? Colored pencils or markers? Oh, um, isn't that like it a would be whatever thing? you can actually do both. I mix them. Yeah. He mixes mediums all the time now. Um, Scott's going to use watercolor today. He starts out with the pencil, which is what you're seeing now. This is a 4H pencil. He's going to go over it with a waterproof marker, which is the Zebra brush pen. You can find that on jet pens. And then he's going to do watercolor, and he uses the Winsor & Newton watercolors. Um, what type of gouache is your favorite? I like the Windsor & Newton. What's the whole bean that you use? Whole beans? That is acrylic gouache. Acrylic gouache. Okay. Um, let's see. Mm, let's see. Um, 90 minutes is the average Hikari of the time that it takes. And that's just because of the morning's um, time frame that we are using here. Do you ever get, don't you ever get bored of art? Um, yeah, yeah. I took 10 years off of painting um, mm -hmm. back in the, around 2002? No, around 1999 to about 2009. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's about right. Yeah. Um, Richard's here. Hi, Richard. Good morning. Hey, Your Richard. landscapes are lovely. They are. I am enjoying everything you're posting. I'm just loving the landscapes. Um, do you have any tips on learning how to draw accurate anatomy? Uh, well, obviously practice is key. Um, but other than that, um, you know, a good photo reference helps. And um, there's books that I recommend uh, on my site if you need if you need that as well. Um, what inspired you to make art into your career? I couldn't do anything else. <clears throat> I, I, I had no other discernible talents. Mm, let's see. Hi, Scott. I love your videos and I love doing art. You and Donna make me laugh so much and you make my day. Oh, Aww. thank you. I'm the comedic talent half. What's your favorite type of cookie and why? Oh, well, it's a toss up between Donna's um chocolate chip oatmeal cookies mm -hmm. uh and her snickerdoodles i love um i make this sugar cookie recipe that my mom made when i was a kid and my god they're just my absolute favorite cookies in the whole world all right, so see that line there? Blick says, Scott's colored pencil evaluation videos were quite good. We even made the list with our private label brand. Yes. <laughs> you did indeed. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to like that line, so we'll see. How do you put down a line and then look at it and say, I'm not sure I'm going to like that line? You, it's ink. You know, you're like, uh, I'll try it. And you go, nope, don't like it. You know, but and I tell the tell our wonderful people here. How are you going to fix that line since it's in ink? Oh, um, I, I, I can cover it up mostly with the paints if I don't like it. So but like I said, it's something that this is the thing about um, uh 
traditional art is you learn to live with the mistakes and sometimes you wind up give it a little bit of time you wind up maybe liking it you know maybe it's something where you're like oh that actually turned out pretty well mm -hmm. other times you got to learn how to you know erase your mistakes but um, if I was doing that digitally I would have gone boop nope and hit undo but now I've got to live with it and who knows maybe by the end of this live I'll wind up liking it I don't know um, took your advice about copying reference that's Erica Baruga it worked I'm doing even better on my skin tones thank you oh fantastic Scott has done whole body portraits he just prefers um, it's time. Yeah. I mean, I'm doing these in 90 minutes. Yeah. And you to, have to, to make to, some compromises. To add hands and feet and knees and proportions yeah. and all of that stuff. It, it's just, I mean, I could do quick figure drawing, but yeah. to do a finished illustration, um, I'm really uh, trying to, I'm, I'm being very formulaic if, if, you know, if that makes any sense. You know, I'm, I'm saying, Okay, it's Music Monday, so I'm going to find a photo of somebody mm -hmm. and I'm going to just draw exactly yeah. what I see in the photo. Or with these, I'm going, okay, I'm going to, you know, find a photo or do an AI generator or something for inspiration and then I'm going to make an amalgamation and I'm mm -hmm. just going to play around with hair. And even on Wednesday, I only got the pencils and the inks done. Yeah. I didn't even that finish was hard. that. Yeah. So it, it, it's just. He used to beat himself up too when he wouldn't finish a piece for you guys on the live. And now I think you're getting better at giving yourself some grace and, and you know, saying, okay, this is as much as I can do, but everybody wants to see the pencils and the inks and then the watercolors. But yeah. I think you're, you're being kinder to yourself. He used to be really hard on himself when he would, would do that. Yeah. So I'm proud of you for doing that. Thank you. Um, what are your tips for drawing faces from different angles? Love you two so much. Best wishes. Oh, Best thank you. Wishes. I did a video uh, on drawing faces from different angles. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you're just, you're just, the thing about, I think, artists when they're young is, or, or just starting out, is what they tend to do is um, you see everything in an outline. And what you have to start doing is starting to see stuff in shapes. You know, this is an this is like a, a not a circle, but kind of like an oval type of thing. But it's a three dimensional thing, and there's there's a line down the middle, and a line over here, and you start to see the shapes. You, you know, as you practice more, you start to study uh, the skull and the bones and the and the proportions, and 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 it just becomes part of that. Um, but um, I do I talk a little bit about that in the video. All right, I think I might want to, I'm not thrilled with the hairline. And I'm also not 100% <clears throat> sure I want flowers. Jackie says, I am really bad at art, but I love watching others do art. It's so calming. I agree with you 100%. Ditto, I am horrible and You really I are, just... you're terrible. But I persist. You should draw Animal from Sesame Street for the next Music Monday. Oh, I love Animal, funny. he's so great. Um, how do you draw hair so well? Practice, practice, practice. Yeah. Well, this, this particular, you know, I'm, I'm designing hair now. I'm, I'm past the point of copying hair and now I'm designing shapes and hair. And this is a lot of studying Alphonse Mucha. Um, he did mm -hmm. very, very stylized hair and I went, Ooh, I like that. And mm -hmm. so I just stole that and then built on that. He stole and it. I totally stole it. Um, um, okay, Kelly Busby says, hello from Alabama in the US. I watch your vids every day and I love your work. You are super inclusive and I love that. Thanks for inspiring me in my art. What is something you want to try but haven't? Sculpting. Mm -hmm. Mike Reddig says, what pencils slash pens smear the least possibly from Michaels? Um, well, pencils that are going to smear the least are going to be harder pencils. Like mm -hmm. I'm using a 3H pencil. Right. And you can see I'm not smearing anything. Yeah, don't if, use the B pencils. They smear yeah, all if I was the to, place. If I was to use, um, this is just a regular number two HB pencil. I was do that and you can see it smears a little more. But if I find, let's see if I have. Um, do you even have a B pencil here? I could look. I steal it's all possible. the B pencils. Hold on, I have a drawer. I don't know if this 
differences, but it looks smeary. If I do this, oh yeah, this is just this is a colored uh, charcoal pencil, but you can see it smears. Okay, so please the do soft... us a favor: mm. wipe your hands on a paper towel before you start drawing again, the, so you the, don't get mad at the yourself. The softer the the pencil, the more it's going to smear. I did a a thing on on different pencil leads. Okay, so question: Should I keep the flowers in the hair? I know I did it for the Asian one. Mm -hmm. If you want to do the curls, it might be harder to, to do that. Yeah, I think maybe the one flower might be better. Yeah. Maybe okay. just the one and then leave the other ones off the, the longer hair. Flary Gaming says, hey, Scott, I recently ordered gouache paints. I'm an acrylics user. And when I tried gouache, I felt that how could I ruin an easy painting? And I'm feeling a little bit down since. Oh. Um, but you just the, tried it the, yeah, for the first time. Yeah, the thing time. about gouache... I think the thing about gouache is that you are uh, probably seeing that if you paint over something, it's going to lift up the, the previous colors. Uh, and, and that's, you got to treat gouache a little bit more like watercolors um, in that, you know, the, the colors are going to blend a little more and um, they're not permanent in that way. But it's, it's really fun. It really is. Don't give up on it. It's just, you can't treat gouache like acrylics. Do you have any sketchbook ideas for the future? For me? Um, looking at my list. He has a list. There are videos on drawing hair for Scott um, in the Art Hacks playlist. No, I don't see any that are really jumping out at me. Um, our mods are here when they can be here because they're our friends and they're not getting paid. So whenever they can join us, they do. And we appreciate them so much. Um, let's see. Which skin type do you enjoy the mo drawing the most? Um... I think I like the, the more Caucasian skin when I'm doing the watercolor because I kind of have like a cool, you know, like pattern for that, mm -hmm. you know, more, more like this where I can do, you can see the different layers, mm -hmm. which I kind of like. I think artistically I like that. But when I'm doing um, something like markers, I think I like black skin, darker skin. I was skin. just going to say, yeah. I, I like to build up. I the, loved the Lizzo painting you did with the markers and how you would blend yeah. to get that, the rich skin tones. Oh, I love that. A lot of times it's just a mood, you know, you, you just, you're in the mood to, um, when you're doing darker skin, there's so many more colors and layers and 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 whatnot. But um, and undertones too, right? Yeah. And and when you're doing lighter skin, it could be very stylized. And so, like I said, it just depends on my mood and and what I you know what kind of style I feel like doing. Dan Danny's here. Hey, Danny. Scott has drawn so many Star Wars paintings, you guys. Oh, oh yeah. my God. Yeah. I do. I steal the um, all the B pencils. Scott doesn't like them. So I write with the B pencils. I love them. I love them. I also don't like fine point anything. Not fine point pens or anything. Anything with a big chunky type of a um, font on it, on the end of it. Like my fountain pens are all... Um, a very wide nib from the yeah. fountain pens because I love a good a, a wide line to write with it makes me so happy I probably get less mileage out of my notebooks because I write so big that's yeah, fine but it makes me happy so I don't you, care. you need the big letters anyhow to read it yes because I'm blind where do you get your needed erasers from oh Blick mm -hmm. or, or Plaza Art depending on where I am but I don't I should probably swap them out more often because this one's really dirty. <laughs> but Blech. as long as it's working, I don't care. Danny says, I should send you a pic of the volcano from the park I work at. I know you would love to draw it. Volcano Bay has that Polly Island vibe to it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, but you know what? I'd rather do it in person. Okay. So what was that movie we were watching last night? What was the movie? Oh. The, 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 the new one with Jennifer Aniston and um, what's his name? Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore, whatever his name is. Adam Sandler. <laughs> Adam Sandler. Okay. 
So we start the movie. We only got halfway through, so no spoilers in the chat. But um, so we're watching the movie, and at the beginning of the movie, they fly into the most beautiful island I've ever seen in my life. I like, think it, it was completely I'm, made up. We're you know? sitting on the couch, and I literally, I grab Scott's arm, right? Sound effects are free. I grab Scott's arm, and I'm like, I want to go there. Let's go there. Can we please go there? And like waterfalls and palm trees and beautiful blue water. And I was just like, oh, my God, it's gorgeous. I want to go there. Can we please go there? Anyway, it just was beautiful. Beautiful. <sighs> Will you ever fill a sketchbook with gods from different mythologies? Um. Oh, murder mystery two! Thank you, Steph Nerd. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> I, I think that's a great idea. I, I just it it's going to be a lot of work to do all of the research and and whatnot. So I, I definitely can. I would just need to be prepared to do. A lot of research. Um, let's see. How do you have the patience to draw hair? I tried to draw a picture with a guy with a lot of curly hair and I was not patient enough. Uh, it's funny. Um, I'm not a patient person. Um, he is not. Not, you know, uh, but I have kind of taught myself um techniques and also i start to i now i am very it's relaxing for me to just sit and kind of you know make the little curls and just i can kind of zone out and listen to music and uh and do that <laughs> how much money do you usually spend on buying art materials Guys, I can't even quantify how much he spends on art materials. I mean, these things are... They're not cheap. There's 20 sheets, and it's mm -hmm. maybe $15, and I bought three of these. Mm -hmm. And so maybe, you know, maybe 50 bucks a month. No, more than that. No. More than that. No, I don't buy art Would you like me to that. get the credit card statement out? No. I didn't think so. Mm -hmm. um, by any chance, will this video be made into a YouTube short? Oh, of course, of course. I'm recording it. Um, the question will, will always be, what what will I talk about? Um, Can you do more travel drawing? You are my idol. Yes, we we absolutely will. Um, I just we don't travel that much. I, I, I some some people think we travel a lot, but we really mm -hmm. don't. Yeah, um, we wish but, we did. You know, like we're going to be going down to Chattanooga. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, we're doing this great conservation thing, you guys, yes. for Earth Day. You're going to have to follow us because we're going to be posting on Earth Day, but it's going to be great, and it's with this um, wonderful company that. Anyway, you'll you'll get more, but yes. it's it's gonna be great. So, so and then we're also gonna be going out to paint. Uh, Blick sent us uh, old trick, U trick, U trick mm -hmm. uh, set. Yep, and we're gonna take that out. We and are paint going with. plein air painting at the end of this month, and I think while you do that, I'm gonna bring a tripod and I'm gonna do plein air journaling. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to do the same thing because I think it might be fun to post a video on how I journal out in the wild because you paint. So while you're painting, what am, what am I doing? I'm journaling. Yeah. I think that would be fun. Uh, Scott, do you like Kiss? Oh, yeah. I did a video on them. Mm -hmm. I've she got Kiss video. toys. I've got... Um... Um, I'm interested yeah. in painting. What tips do you have for me? Start with the Art Hacks playlist. That will be a great place to start also and i would recommend learning to draw first mm -hmm. see i'm still not thrilled with this hairline that's bothering me um how are you very precise when you ink your hand doesn't ever mess up <laughs> oh i messed up a hundred times you're just not noticing yeah you just don't um, you can't see yeah it. but i'm also resting my hand on the paper which you know you'll see there is some uh, smudging mm -hmm. going on, but because it's a six mm -hmm. or a three H pencil, it doesn't smudge that much. Watercolor is very transparent. What do I do? Uh, you just build it up mm -hmm. from your lightest colors to your darkest colors. But it is going to be transparent because it's watercolor. Yeah. 
Um, I just discovered your blow dryer t-shirt. And as someone who also uses a blow dryer for watercolors, I think it's super cool. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Um, there are tips on colored pencils in the Art Hacks playlist. Start there. And if you've got specific questions, um, what's your favorite song? Uh, Future Love Paradise by Seal. What's your favorite painting you've ever done? The Animal Crackers movie poster. The name of the book that we did together is called Teddy Bear Dreams. Probably the best place to find it is on Amazon. Um, some libraries bought it, but I think only really our local ones did. Um, let's see. Do you like kneaded erasers or normal erasers more? Um, I think I use the kneaded eraser more. Let's see. I'm not sure if that's the right play here. Oh, it's been two days since this poor person lost power. Luckily, we have a fireplace to stay warm. You are lucky. A lot of people don't have that. I'm um, going for it. Uh-oh. I'm doing it. Oh, right across the face. Oh, God, help me. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Um, a couple people are off of school today. Oh, nice. There is a video um, about Art Block. Imagine this. You can check that. Um, how do you feel about Crayola? Also, red pandas, because Donna is so precious. Red pandas are awesome, period. End of discussion. Yeah, Fighting. and there's a whole playlist of Crayola. Yeah. Um, we've used yeah. a ton of Crayola stuff. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't recommend them. But uh, they're great for just playing around. and they're, The longevity is not there. They definitely yeah. uh, fade. But, I mean, but... We're just playing around and learning. Yeah. It's, it's fine. Um, you're watching Scott do hair. The pen is a zebra brush pen. That's what he's using right now. It's waterproof. Mm, let's see. You should start your own company of watercolor paper. Ugh. Scott has no interest in learning yeah. how to make supplies. That's why we have our friends at Blick and we have, you know, other stores that we buy things from because we have no desire. Yeah, to it's, I mean, I, I'm very happy with, if there was something that people didn't do well that needed something, I would maybe consider it one day. But right now, you know, there's there's really good paper out there and there's really good watercolors mm -hmm. and there's there's great materials for everything. Um, this person has a very hard time with motivation. How do you keep being motivated to do art? Uh, there's a couple of videos on that. Inspiration. There's one on inspiration mm -hmm. and art block. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it, a lot of it is if you're just having, if you just want to make art every day, there's the draw everything every day prompts. Yep. There's, um, you can create your own sketchbook, mm -hmm. uh, like a travel journal. You can mm -hmm. journal everything every day. Yep. There's so much you can do. Yeah. A lot of really cool things. Um, Scott did go to uh, Academy of Art in San Francisco. Do you like musicals? Not particularly. Um, you know, we, we watched Hamilton and I grew up with Grease and Sgt. Mm -hmm. Pepper. And, and you know, like I, my favorite Disney movie is The Little Mermaid and I love the songs. But um, I don't seek them out. You know, I, mm -hmm. I don't and like the greatest showman was such a oh god that such was a surprise so for me because yeah. it was like I thought I was gonna just be like eh. But the, if the music if the music is good, of course mm -hmm. I love a musical. But the problem is is that I'm really picky. He is really picky. Yeah. Um, I do steal his pencils. I do. I do the ones he doesn't use. Are you going to draw tomorrow? Um, yes, Donna and I are going to be um, working on our travel working journals. On our travel journals. I've got mm -hmm. still a bunch of drawings that I've got to get done from um, our trip to Carmel. And sadly, I'm still working on my Venice journal. <laughs> Believe it or not. Her goal is to finish it before it's a one-year anniversary <laughs> of us being in... God, I know, isn't that terrible? Um, yeah, oh my God, I know crazy i'm losing my mind yeah um let's see elias says um sends you a tip and then have oh, i a chance you. that you sign my drawing 
Um, I don't know what you're asking. Do you want to send Scott a drawing to sign? Do you want him to sign something for you? Um, how do you get him to see your art? Okay, so we have a Discord. He can see the art on there. Or you can um, tag us in social media. We're on all the socials. You can find all the socials on our website. Um, let's see. How do you draw guys? I can only draw girls. Oh, um... You just, it's, you just fold it in. <laughs> sorry. Um, no, it, it's it's. Uh, sorry, that was the sh the, the Shit's Creek quote. Um, You're funny. No, there there's there's. Uh, check out how to draw comics the Marvel way. That was a really great book yeah, for me to. That's how you learned muscles. Yeah. <clears throat> How do you photograph your art to make it look good? I did an oil pastel of Glean from The Walking Dead and all the photos look terrible. That's a I good don't. question. I scan them in. Mm -hmm. I have a scanner and there's a video on that too. Um, my hobby is journaling. I journal and I love to read. So that is what I do. We can't, Blick says, we can't wait to see our Blick exclusive Utrick artist colors in action. We are excited to try those. Um, that's a lot more colors than Scott normally uses. Yeah. Um, in the kit. And so I'm actually excited to see, like, we're going to pick some place that's out and sunny and nice. And um, we're kind of excited to see what we're going to come up with. We're hoping to find a place. This is the visual. I'll give you guys the visual. We're hoping to find a place where Donna can get a large cup of coffee. And there'll be a nice big table outside somewhere and some beautiful, like a landscape or some sort of old building or some sort of scene that we haven't painted before that we can get inspired by. Um, let's see. What's your favorite 2000s band? 2000s band? I don't know. Um... I don't know when bands came out. Um, I don't know. That don't know, ask is, me at is, all. Is Keen or Coldplay? <clears throat> um, do they count? Um, let's see. I mean, to me, two thousands is very recent. Are the are there any YouTubers that go over the basics of art? Because due to a lacking of teachers in my area, they had to take away my art two classes in school. Ugh, I'm yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, there's a um, Pronco. Um, Proco. Proco. Isn't that the one? Yeah, they sent me a, a sketchbook. Let's see. Yeah, look up this person. They do very very um, art schooly kind of stuff. Proco. Um, Danny says, what do you watch on YouTube other than art stuff? LOL. And don't just say my channel. I just saw Seal at Universal for a free concert. Hey, that's cool. You saw Seal. Oh, my God. You saw Seal. Yeah. Wow. Um, no, I, I really don't uh, go onto YouTube to look at stuff. He doesn't have time, unfortunately, yeah. with the new projects that he's working on and stuff. He and all of the comments are really that's been, I think, your hardest thing is like making time to go over. Cause Scott, ever since we've been doing all this social media stuff, Scott's biggest thing is he always wants to answer everybody's questions and the comments and everything, which is great, but it takes like a lot of time, a lot of time. Um, how was it for you, Donna, to discover Scott's autism? A lot of stuff just made sense. A lot of things that he had been doing over the years that I thought were weird little quirks that I just thought, oh, well, that's just him. Um, I, I don't know. I, I think now for me, it's helpful because I think I ask you more, like, are you okay? Do you need anything? Is this okay? Yeah. I try, I'm trying to be a little more attentive and understanding about it now. I think I've always tried to be understanding, but at some times I, I do remember myself going, oh, come on, just suck it up, you know? Yeah. And I don't do that anymore because I know for sure that he's fighting against something else. Yeah. So, um, yeah. 
Um, Zeltron says, my parents burned all of my sketchbooks and broke my materials because they don't believe it's not productive and I'm heartbroken. That is really, really, really mean. Um, yeah. But. Um, wow. Look, you're not always going to be with your parents. You, you know, at some point you're going to move out. You're going to go off to college. You're going to do whatever. And then you could do whatever you want to. Yeah. But, you know, in the meanwhile, you're you're in their house. You have to obey their rules. And, and we're, we're speaking as parents. Yeah. Um, you know, um, I, I... I'm very sorry that they did that. I don't... Yeah. In my, yeah. In my opinion, I don't think that's nice to do yeah, to your not. child. Um, you don't... You would never want to hurt your, ch your children and cause them trauma like that. Yeah. Um, that said, for all we know, they were um not doing any of their homework not doing this and that's all it's they true. were doing was drawing and i was very much like that my parents never yeah. destroyed my stuff but they put their foot down and you know they would take you know punish me or or, or whatever video so games and... yeah so the the thing is is that you know yeah. if you're if you're not doing your school work and you're not you know being a good person and you know then then maybe that was their only yeah. extreme thing to kind of snap you out of it but yeah. and, and we don't want to get into that the point yeah. is is that you're under their house under their rules um and you got to do good in school you got to graduate then once you're off you got your whole life to make art mm -hmm. you know you're you're not i promise you you are not missing anything if you don't start making art until you're 20 not a problem grandma moses you, didn't start till she was 80 yep are you guys ever planning to visit India? <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should mention that because uh, we just heard back from that from movie the that we told you guys we was were dead. On. Yeah, in India. <laughs> Scott just they got a message this morning. So who knows? You never know. Oh gosh! And and for the record, for the record, this is exactly how Hollywood works exactly how hollywood works one minute they're all like we're going we're going we're going a thousand miles an hour and then the next minute you run into a brick wall and then the next minute they come back they peek around the wall and they go hey hey can we talk to you again it's that's hollywood it's so crazy um what style of art would you do if it wasn't art nouveau um hmm. it if I were to pursue the thing that I wanted to do as a kid, it would be comic book style. Um, but uh, I think if I could do anything, it would be probably a pre-Raphaelite style. Tips to draw out of your comfort zone. Oh, just go to a museum and see, look at something in a different style and try copying it. Mm-hmm. Um, or try a different medium. What do you think is the most important advice for up and coming artists? Draw everything every day. If you could listen to one band or album only, which one would you feel you'd always be personally drawn to? The one that gives you the most inspiration to create on repeat, LOL. Oh, Seal's first album. God. He could play the on repeat and he has hmm. multiple times. Can you draw a landscape and paint it someday? I want to see how you would do it because I'm struggling with landscapes and you're my favorite artist. Oh, yeah. I've done tons of landscapes mm -hmm. in my sketchbook. Mm -hmm. um, and, and and wander above a sea of fog. Yeah. And you'll see mm. you'll see them. Um, there's a video on perspective, uh, if that'll help. Um, Bob is asking about your art materials. And Bob, I'm going to refer you to the art supply list. And you can check that out. There's a list of all of Scott's drawings there. Also... Um, there's a, under the resources page, there's a list of supplies we've tried because you may find something that you like that, um, Scott doesn't necessarily like. So, um, just, just to kind of recap, um, what's going on. So I started doing the hair. Mm -hmm. Where's that post-it? Here it is. So I started doing the hair in kind of this kind of style and I was just kind of just doing this and you could see it here and I wasn't really happy with it so then I remembered for this one I did more of kind of 
this kind of style. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm doing here. And I think that has a lot more texture to it. It does look like more texture, yeah. And so that that's what's going on with me right now is I'm just... Right now, Scott does not have any other hobbies except for drawing. I have been trying to get him to uh, find another excuse hobby. Excuse me. I just ordered the new Zelda game. <gasps> you didn't tell me you did that. I, well, I pre-ordered. It doesn't come in until mid-May. You didn't but... tell me that you did that good for you. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Oh, good boy. Lift the pen. Yay. Good for you. Let me see what I have to deal with. Oh, please. Wham, wham, wham. Um, 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 let's see. Oh, his favorite thing to draw is me and hair. Blanca asks, if you two forgot each other and met each other again, would you fall in love again? Oh, absolutely. I... Oh, no, 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 no. I was oh. going to say, I don't think, I feel like if you're drawn to someone like you and I are drawn to each other, that you would fall in love again. I don't know. I think you were having second thoughts. No, no, no. I was just trying to Did figure out Did any of you guys see the, the, the new it. Matrix movie? No. They, basically what happened oh, is, is they, they... it's like, it's like, cause, uh, you know, dies in the third one right, 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 right. sacrifices himself or whatever so apparently they you know like and i think trinity might have too i don't know but i forgot about the third one but like everybody forgot they, about the third it's one. like it takes place like 20 years later and mm -hmm. he's he's you know there he is he's working his job and he's and he runs into her and he's just immediately attracted she's married with kids and whatever oh, really and, and it's just like like they're in another simulation kind of thing another matrix but it wow. was like set up where like they would kind of be near each other and they were just drawn to each other yeah. like instantly. Yeah. And so I get that. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 the, the, the new matrix actually wasn't too bad. There's still the, the way too much exposition. They like to just explain stuff a little too much, but like other Tolkien. than that, it was a, it was a lot. I like the, the romantic part of it, you know? Um, let's see. What's the best and cheapest kind of watercolor paper that you use? The the best, cheapest watercolor paper I use is the Canson XL. Oh, Bethany says I got my art supplies taken away all the time. Well, you were a rather bad child. She got her art Rebellious. supplies taken away last week, I bet. <laughs> Our art supplies taken away last week. <laughs> no, Bethany, bad. Oh, that's so funny. What is your favorite part of drawing? Bad, Bethany. <laughs> my, my favorite part is finishing. I that's that's mm -hmm. the 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 you know when I could go ah oh, I, I did it I, I I'm done because it the, the whole time I'm doing it there's probably just a ton of anxiety. Of, oh, God, I hope it doesn't stink. Oh, God, I hope it's not bad. He will and say that at least 100 times a day. So if it's a good piece and I'm, I'm happy sure with this it. this is working out right. Yeah, it's, I, I like the, I did it and I don't hate it. That's a nice feeling. <sighs> Do you use up art supplies fast? Not really. I mean, I go through, paper. I think, these, these pens and paper the mm -hmm. most. Yeah. But the watercolor lasts a long time. Do you enjoy art ASMR? Like, do you ever just draw with the sound of art? Yeah, yeah, I do that. I thought you played music more than I you do. Draw with the sound but every of once in a while, I'll just sit here and just draw, zone out. You know, especially if I'm listening to a record and it ends, and I just don't even realize. And... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you have any advice for laziness? Because this person is very, 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 very lazy. Um. Do smaller little things so that way you get that um, was a dopamine boost of finishing mm -hmm. something. Do a smaller piece. Don't mm -hmm. try to do a big piece because then you just like, ugh, I'm never gonna finish it. Um, let's see. 
This is going to be another one where I don't get to the painting again, isn't it? Mm-hmm, probably. It's 9.58. What year did you meet each other? 1988. Eight. Mm-hmm. Do you have colors you associate with people in your life? I don't think so. I mean, if if it is, it's it would be unconscious because I hadn't really thought about it. Are you guys ever planning to visit Germany? We would like to. Yeah. I want to go see um, the um, Wanderer Above a Sea of Fog. That is in the museum in Hamburg. And I want to go see that painting in person. Is this your new hair journal? Um, not this in, in general. I've been doing a series mm -hmm. um, of these. Uh, we started for Women's History Month. And uh, so this will be number eight. And I think I'm going to stop here and um, we'll make some prints or something like that. Thank you, Mr. Clock. Namaste from Nepal. Hello from Turkey. Hello. Um, my people are really bad and I feel like giving up on my people artwork. What should I do? Well, I mean, if you don't like drawing people and you just feel like giving up, try drawing something that you do like. Could be animals or places or something. And you can always come back to people later. Mm -hmm. Unless you just really are just feeling bad for today and you want to get back to it, in which mm -hmm. case, get a book practice um are you drawing out of your head or are you drawing from reference or from real life because you're going to learn best from looking at something um let's see we have been to new mexico we've actually a couple years ago we drove across the united states and so that gave us the opportunity to see um, a lot of the country and that actually was a really really great um, it was a great trip it was very eye-opening every place has beauty and that I think is the thing that surprised me the most and I think the thing that opened my eyes a little bit more um, to that do you have any tips to draw out of your comfort zone I think you asked that one already but um... right. there's another person a lot of there's a lot of doubling up today Try drawing something that you haven't drawn before. Mm -hmm. um, oh, or go to museums. Go to like museums. Try different mediums. If you if you visit India, please also take a tour to Pakistan. Its fortresses are beautiful. All right. Good Thank to you. know. Good to know. Um, are you guys planning on visiting Memphis, Tennessee, Graceland? You know, you know, we're three hours from from Memphis, mm -hmm. and. I don't like crowds, and every time we've kind of considered either. it, there's like tons of crowds, mm -hmm. and and I don't know if that's really the, the thing for me. Yeah. What was it like for me to watch Scott grow on social media? Um, you know, I'm not super impressed with social media. Um, I think it's it was a great thing to do during the pandemic because we got to meet all of you and we got to meet our wonderful mods and we got to be friends with people online which was great um but it doesn't i'm i'm a gen xer i i'm not impressed with social media i don't um i don't know I'm gonna <laughs> okay go with that. she says that but then she geeked out when santa came to visit okay and, uh... that's santa <laughs> hello or I when I'm talking him, to V. I baked him or... scones. Oh, I did geek out with V. Okay, let me tell you something though. V V reminds me. I'm gonna. I'm, we're gonna go there. I know a lot of you are too young to remember this, but you're gonna Google Walter Cronkite, and I am so sick and so tired. And now I'm on a now I'm on a rant of the news today. Everybody, every news person gives their opinion on what they think is no. That is not the job of the news. You do not give me your opinion. You do not inflate everything. The news is the news. And if you watch V on TikTok or YouTube or Instagram or whatever, V gives you the news in a calm, measured 
rational way that but you they, can they look at. They share their opinion. They're very human. It's I understand that, but their opinion is not inflammatory. Yeah. And yeah. 99% of the news people out there, All the right, news right. is inflammatory. Anyways. I'm yes, so yes. If you've I'm ever seen with v. uh under the go. desk news, that's who V is. Yes. For those of um, you um, but yeah, we became friends with them, and and, Ugh, uh, and I we, geek out we, we every time Scott the, does a um, if I if I'm doing a Zoom, Zoom call or just them. chatting with them, you know, <gasps> Donna goes a little crazy, just a little crazy. So yes, Donna is very impressed with not uh, that impressed. There's only like two or three <laughs> social people. Social media. There's only two or three. Stop it. Um, what language do you want to learn? Assyrian. Italian. Between the two of us, we could rule the world. We could. Um, what book are you working in for this particular piece? I missed that part of the video, but I really love how you finished your art. It's uh, a it's a block. It's not a book. This is an artist block. Mm -hmm. This is those ones that are glued on all of the edges mm -hmm. except for right here. And mm -hmm. you stick a palette knife in and you just tear it out. What's so a I don't have to tape knife? it down. down. Ooh, Aaron wants to go out. Big surprise there. Uh, what do you typically block. use a palette knife for? Um, me, I just use it for that. Uh, but, uh, you know, they're, they're generally used for, people paint with these. Um, they yeah, paint with them, but they're, the they're, they're made for uh, taking paint and mixing them together. And then you kind of wipe them off. Because if you were to use your brush, all of the paint's just going to get stuck in the brush. So this is a very, very clean way to mix your paints. Especially weird people who do oil paints. That's that's the one that, you know, it was really made for. Those weirdos. Sorry. Dog had to go outside. Okay. Um, we have never been to Australia. Um, let's see. We live in the United States. Scott tried oil paints years ago. Bethany Primrose is our resident oil painter. His average pieces take about 90 minutes. His favorite style of art is Art Nouveau. Tracing is not cheating. There's a video on that. There's a million reasons why it is not cheating. It's just a tool. Um, let's see. We have never been to Sweden. I would love to go. Um, some people say you shouldn't use markers on backgrounds. What do you think? Markers on backgrounds. Um, the backgrounds of your paintings? Mm -hmm. I would assume backgrounds um, of I've done them before. If you're going to do it on watercolor paper, though, it's going to bleed. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you got to be careful with that. Um, use markers with marker paper. Mm -hmm. Scott's been collecting art supplies since he was, I don't know, in college. Um, we've never been to Asia. Yeah, the farthest east we've been is Venice, Italy, which we went last mm -hmm. year. Correct. Uh, so, uh, again, we're, we're not world travelers. The farthest west we've been is Hawaii. Yeah. Are you going to do another Pride Month-themed sketchbook for June? Well, I, um, I didn't actually do a Pride Month theme. It was the art journal just kind of became, mm -hmm. you know... Uh, it just sort of more and more there. inclusive, but yeah. um, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure we could do one or two things. Like I didn't really do anything for Autism Month, uh, Autism Awareness. Um, I can't, I can't do everything for everything, but um, I can talk about something once or twice or whatever. But um, <laughs> Blake, yeah. Blake says somewhere somebody just had their mind blown because they just now learned there's a space under the cover where you can separate watercolor paper from the block. <laughs> <laughs> People always want to see Scott use the palette knife and take the paper out. Like at the yeah. end of the thing, they want to see it. There it's were really so funny. many people who thought this was one sheet of paper. They did one painting and yeah. then threw it away. Yeah. Or, you know, just or like they just kept it like that. They had no idea that there mm -hmm. was a bunch of sheets. So I had to do a video yep. on that. On and, how to and, remove and, it. Uh, yeah, because I did one with um, Better Call Saul. And then uh, I followed it up explaining what to do with that with a picture of Kim Wexler from Better Call Saul. Steph Nerd uses her palette knife to decorate cookies. That's so <laughs> funny. I love that. I didn't, you know what? I never even thought about that. That's great. Bethany says, I'm working on a video on all the ways to use palette knives. 
Nice. We are going to do more Ink Monsters with Kim Diaz. We will be getting that together. What do you think of stretching your watercolor paper? Do you think it's necessary? I, um, I, I don't think it's necessary. I've never done it. Mm. But I know a lot of artists who do it. Yeah, Blick, and... what do you think about stretching the watercolor paper? Do you always have a messy desk? Yes, he does. I'm not yeah. even going to let him answer that. So messy all the time. Scott has tried digital art. There are videos on that. Has social media success changed your business planning and opportunities? It has. It has. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people, you know, even when I'm dealing with uh, Hollywood, they, um, they factor in. Yeah you know my influencing mm -hmm. power Ability. you know yeah. so like you know if, yeah. if you're dealing with it um an agency or something like that mm -hmm. then you have a little bit more cachet cachet yeah mm -hmm. you know which is it's helpful it's helpful yeah it's funny but it's you know yeah it's, i think it's hysterically funny unless you're talking about v or santa um let's see can you speak hungarian probably not i haven't tried um let's see i, mean, I guess Scott, you never know until you try right you and donna are amazing i love the way you guys laugh with each other and just seem amazing i love your artwork i'm 16 and love art and when i say y'all are alive i'm like yay so thank you oh, oh you're thank so you. sweet that's betty fitton you are sweet well, we're here and we're happy you guys are joining us, believe me. We do have a dog. She just went outside. She's a pickle. Um, she's, two nights ago, she didn't sleep. She was up all night. Um, so yesterday I had to call the vet and said, are there sleeping meds for dogs? So she's she's sleep? 11 years old. She's on heart medication. Yeah. She's wearing diapers. Yeah. And um, bless her and heart. She's just she's, up all night. She's doing which the means best we're she can. up all night. Yes. So. Yes. Donna was like, I told Donna, I said, see if they have yes, like doggy melatonin or yeah. something like that. Yeah. That we could just let her, because she, the dog's not sleeping either. Oh, she's wanting to come back in. No. <laughs> so Donna's got to go get the diapers. And yeah. Yeah. there's a little t hole for the tail for the doggy diapers, just in case you guys didn't know. Hi, baby. Yeah. Because of her heart condition, they have to. Trying to get rid of the fluid so it doesn't fill up in her lungs, and to do that, they gotta. She's gotta pee a lot, and but she's our little girl, and yeah. Yeah. You want mom to come over here? Um, let's see. I'm How sorry. You... This is two days in a row where I'm not finishing the... Um... Scott has tried digital art. You'll be fine. Don't... What pen is that? It is a zebra brush pen. Um, what was a cringe thing you did when you were younger? Oh, God. What wasn't a cringe thing when I was younger? Yeah, we were raised in the 80s. I mean, that's yeah. when we grew up. So a lot of things are cringe. I dressed up. Um, I got an outfit to look like Don Johnson from uh, Miami Vice. All white with, you know, with uh, no socks, you know, <laughs> and a top ciders and, and the white pants and the white your hair. hair. And I got, and I got a yep. teal, teal tank top. Oh, and God. Yeah, but you looked, oh, the teal tank top. I remember the teal tank top yes. with like chest hair. That, oh, well, got a little sexy going on there. I also had a mullet. He did indeed have a mullet. It wasn't did. called a mullet back then. It so wasn't. Mm -mm. It was just called hair. It was just hair. Yeah. How old are you guys? Uh, I am 54. Mm -hmm. Donna is unknown. But she's 10 months younger than me. <laughs> You're so obnoxious. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, God. <laughs> 
Are you gonna do watercolor on this live? <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have time. Most it's, likely, we've only got probably got 17 not. minutes left. I, yeah. I think I'm not even gonna get to the background. No, um, I think you are. Uh-uh. But um, and I apologize. I don't know why it's taking me so long. Because you're noodling the hair. Because you love it so much. Oh, geez. It's so funny. Okay, so Blick um, replied on the comment. Let's see. In terms of maintaining a flat surface, probably stretching paper with brown craft tape on an impermeable board or stapling paper to a canvas stretcher frame works best, but you lose some of the paper. Mm. There you go. I, I, I'm, I'm interested to, to learn what, what the difference is. I mean... Taping it down seems fine. Mm -hmm. I know people wet their paper first. I saw um, that a couple of times. They wet their paper people, and they spray their paints. Uh, yeah, I see people water. spray their paints. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't know what, mm -hmm. is it just a feeling? Is it just a, 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 you know, the way that they were taught? But I mean, I'm not, I, I, I can't imagine any discernible um Difference. Differences or, I don't know. or, or, or I benefits just, is the word I, I think, think it's I was just looking preference for. Preference at this point. Yeah. I don't know. Blick? Is it just a preference for people doing different things like that? Yeah. Um, Autumn Rain says, I work in rescue and take care of senior dogs. They are a lot of work, but are totally worth it. You know, um, yes, 110%. I agree with you. And I think she gave us and has given us the best years of her life and she's been so great with our boys that the only thing that we can do is just make her as happy as we can for as long as we get her yeah you know? she's she's in no pain no and she's, she's doing very great very happy i mean she hates the diapers oh she hates she them. squiggles out of them yep. any chance she can she does and, um, but she's gets all her favorite treats. Yeah. She goes on walks every day, which is her favorite thing in the world is to smell everything. And it's her favorite thing is to go on a walk. And she just has the biggest smile on her little face when we take her for a walk. And so you know what? There you there you go. Yeah. They give you the best years of their lives and you should treat them the same. That's my opinion. Um, let's see. What paper pad are you using? This is, uh, I just got it uh, from Blick. It is Arches um, 5 by 9 by 11.8. Have you ever tried a fountain pen? I think once and I hated it. I love them. Donna loves them. I actually have one sitting in front of me right now. She's mm -hmm. just staring at it lovingly. Actually, I was holding on to it earlier lovingly. Do you use Pinterest? I have a Pinterest, but I don't really go on it. Mm -hmm. Nicole Vanderpool says, I think it all depends on what technique you use and what works for your art. I think so too. I think you got to try and play around with different things. I think that's the best part that you mention a lot of times is finding your style and finding what works for you and trying new things because we get to try all of these new art supplies and by we, I mean Scott, um, and you guys get to see all of that, but the best part is you get to pick for yourself what you like yeah. to do. You get to pick, do you like watercolors? Do you like oil pastels? Do you like colored pencils? Do you like markers? Do you want to have a journal? Do you want to just do individual pieces of art? Do you want to make something on a canvas and do oils? There's so many cool mediums and things that you can try yeah i mean how cool is that there's there literally is something out there for everybody yeah that's the coolest thing in my opinion um hey scott my parents don't allow me to choose art as a career but you make me feel inspired and motivated thank you by the way what is your favorite video game oh thank you right now it is uh still zelda breath of the wild i'm looking forward to the new one and and you don't have to pick art as your career now, if you have something else that you can go to school for, do it. You don't need mm -hmm. a degree in art. Um, I, I got one. It was, it didn't, you know, I mean, like going to school helped, but I'm just like, it's not like having that diploma did anything. Unless for you're going to teach art. That's the only yeah. time you would need a diploma with art, I think. Richard says, we had an es uh, American Eskimo pup that needed diapers too. We definitely take care of our pets, kids. Yep. Yeah. We do. 
We do. They you deserve know, it, though. The, the, the video of uh, Dewey, a oh, dog that we met in Florida, that yes. really um, yeah. hit me. Seeing how they, I mean, they're... Yeah. Selfless. Yeah. With their pet. That that Selfless. was. I mean, I would. Yeah. We would have. We would have put Dewey to sleep. You know. Yeah. Um, I, I. I. You know. Once. Once. You know. Your dog can't even walk, and. You know. Um. Just. Yeah. Can't even move and mm -hmm. whatever. You know. I. I. That's just no. No quality of life. But they just. Well, in your opinion, that was no quality. Exactly, of life. Exactly. Exactly. So. And everybody. You know. But I'm just saying. I'm just being honest. Is yeah. Like, um, but they were just, he's like, nope, they had to wash Dewey five times a day mm -hmm. because, you know, you just, he couldn't walk. You, yeah, yeah. And, um, and he, they just loved him till he died yeah. naturally. Yeah. And, and I think that was wonderful, but everybody it was a beautiful story, but everybody has their own right. but threshold. I don't, but I think the important part is, is that they did it their way. We're doing yeah. it our way, but you're not going to find us taking her at 11 years old and get putting her you know, into the shelter because yeah. we are having a hard time dealing with her because she has. But everybody all these has different, you know, like some. I'm assuming yeah. sometimes it is you know people moving or they got a you know a baby or, or a something where people, they just can't. People don't want to deal with it. I yeah, think a I lot mean, of times they don't. I, I I try not to assume the worst. I assume that is the situation was just over too much, you know, and they. Mm, that's the difference know. between you and I. I know. Mm -hmm. I believe if you adopt an animal, any animal, you've got that animal for their entire life. That's it. End of discussion. That's my opinion. So I'm going to tell you guys a story. So when we were first married, we adopted a dog. Oh, for named, five minutes. Named Cosmo. And, uh, for and five minutes. And it was a puppy. And the mm -hmm. puppy was crying all night. Well, we and we had him it. for two days and returned it. Less so, than two days. So when Donna says that she believes days. that... Okay. When you adopt that, a dog, that was hard for it's me, for their entire that. life. That was their entire life was apparently two days, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I forgot about Cosmo. Yeah, yeah, Miss we Judgmental. Were so, we were so young and so I, we were I'm not. The, I'm not the kind of person we were who, not ready. Would, who would ever do something I like know, that. Oh, we except were, for that time that you did that. We thing. were not ready. We should never have adopted that dog at that point or tried to adopt that. We were not ready. Not ready. God, how old were we? Like 25, 26? Yeah. Jesus, we were so young. Cosmo was cute, though, but it was going to be a big dog, too. Oh, yeah. Um, they want to know if you're going to draw food. Um, I have drawn food. Mm -hmm. um, have a baguette in my sketchbook. I've pizza? drawn pizza. Mm -hmm. I've drawn, you know. By the um, way, Ellen's here. Hey, Ellen. Good morning, friend. Um, the pen he's using right now is called a zebra brush pen. Um, what is my favorite pen to use when I journal? Okay. So, um, Scott bought me a fountain pen. It is a Conklin fountain pen and, um, it has a 1.1 millimeter stub nib on the end of it. It's a very wide pen, but that is my favorite pen. And my favorite ink is called writer's blood. It is, um, lovely oh and the other day i was drinking my tea and i looked in my cup and i went i really just love this color and scott looked in the cup and he goes looks like your writer's blood ink and i was like oh my gosh it totally looks like my writer's blood tea. Ink. yeah yeah the color all of right the tea. so i'm i'm gonna call this done for now um i'm but thinking, it's only 10 21 you have nine minutes left i'm thinking what do you guys think if i was to do a beach scene in the background or should I stick with the... Um, it's not going to match the other ones. Yeah, well, if you look at... Oh, where is it? Where is it? Come on. Are you going to continue this on another stream? No, no, no. I'll probably just work on it for the, later in the day. Um, they're saying yes to the beach scene. Love it. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. Here. This one has a um, little little sun and some trees. Oh my God. I bird. didn't even notice that. Yeah. How did I not notice that? Because you're weird. I really am weird. This one has bubbles. And uh, this one has the uh, Aboriginal art in the background. That one I like the dot in the background. Art. Yeah. 
Yeah. It would be something different and could look really cool. Yeah. yeah they like it. Okay. Yeah. I will um, look something up and um, hopefully it comes out okay. Um, uh, what watercolor do you think is the best, but also in a budget for beginners? By the way, I don't think Grabby will work. Oh, um, then I would do the cotton set, mm -hmm. the $25 cotton set. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. So we get a lot of our art supplies um, at Blick, actually. Yeah. Um, and so um, I know they're in the chat. Um, Blick is here in the chat. They and are. Um, mm -hmm. you'll see links to my art supplies. Mm -hmm. um, go to them. And uh, if you have any questions about any art supplies, <clears throat> let me know. Do you have any tips on um, drawing wood or leaves digitally? I don't really have any digital tips. Um, Cats X Lemon says, I just discovered my dad's unopened Prismacolors from years ago. He's got like 36 of them unused. Oh, that's great. Wow. Well, pencils don't go bad, so give yeah, them a shot. Yeah, have fun with them. Yeah. Question for both Scott and Donna. Do you guys play video games together and have you played any of the Sims games? Um, I tried to get Donna to play games with me, and she's just not a gamer. I'm really um, not a gamer. I she's... played when we played with our boys. Years ago, we all got the flu at the same time, and we all um, I, I gave, gave, get, set everybody up with a WoW account. Yeah. And, uh, and the boys still play, and I still play with, um, with Logan from time to time. Um, but Donna yeah. is just not I'm a gamer. Not, I, I, I tried to yeah. set her up with that Disney one. I had no desire. It's I don't enjoy like it's like go over here and you know I don't know do this and then go over here and do that and I'm like why am I doing this? But you I get just, to be friends with Belle and but I don't care Mickey Mouse. And... I I don't care enough. I I would rather write in my journal or read a book or paint my paint by number thing. I don't really want to. I don't know. I just I've never been into those. Um, Blick says watercolorists who use traditional techniques where the paper becomes very saturated or flooded can benefit from stretching paper. If you wet the paper liberally or use big juicy strokes, it helps. Okay, okay. That's good to know. So people like me who are, you know, a little bit of color, dry it. A little bit of color, yeah, dry it, you know. You probably wouldn't get a lot out of that. How much of professional success as an artist is luck and how much of it is talent and skill? Good 50, question. 50. It's a 50-50 thing. And, and that's that's with everything. That's with music. It's with acting. It's with everything. There is so much... Yeah, but I think social media is 90-10. Yeah, but there's so much luck that goes into it. Yeah. You, you, you've you got to factor that in. Mm -hmm. I think so, too. But, all right. Um, what well, gouache brand do you use when you paint in gouache? I use a, a Windsor & Newton. Unless it's acrylic gouache, in which case I use whole bean. Okay, we're going to answer a few more questions because we're four minutes early. Okay. Do you have a Celtic-inspired portrait? Celtic-inspired portrait. Mm -hmm. um, I know you have some stencils that look like Celtic knots. Yeah, um, there's, there's, I think, one or two, maybe. But um, They want to watch you paint it. Well, I mean, I could... They really want to watch you paint wait it. Wait until Monday, but... Um, do you let well let's put it out to them. Do you guys want to watch him paint it on Monday? Well, Monday is supposed to be Music Monday though. I know. Well, when, then we could well you're not going to wait till Monday. Maybe um Yeah, we're not going to go live this weekend. No. Yeah, no. we're too tired to go live this weekend. And I've got that meeting tomorrow and Oh, great. I forgot you had a meeting tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry, guys. I well you'll get to see little clips of it when i make a video because i'll oh, record just, little bits of it they like watching i know i'm sorry i'm um, trying but um i will uh we have try... meetings coming up Here's otherwise what I'll we'd do. stay longer i've been trying to let you guys see a little bit more of the pencil process so i'll skip the pencil i'll get the pencils done from now on so that way I can get to the inks and the watercolors because yeah. it's the sitting here and oh I think I'm gonna read you this. Noodling. And yeah. So I will try to do that a little bit yeah. more. Yeah. But I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Um Wonder is a fellow Assyrian and is happy to hear that you're part Assyrian. You're such oh, an inspirational artist you. and I love your work. Oh, it's so nice to see another Assyrian. Um, I wish I could say hello in uh Assyrian, but I didn't learn any of it, unfortunately. He did not. 
How long did it take you to get where you are now with your line art skills and hair skills? Uh, 54 I, years. Well, I started doing the line art probably around 2011. I started learning about inking and then um, the hair skills. Yeah, I started getting into the Art Nouveau maybe around 2011, 2012. Um, Sage Frog sent you a tip and said, do you prefer painting with watercolors or gouache? Oh, thank you. Um, I think if I had to pick one, it would be this technique, the watercolor and ink. Um, I, mm -hmm. I love gouache. And, yeah. um, and so that would be my second favorite. Um, okay. So, um, yeah, Scott's not going to try scrapbooking. Um, let's see. He's so, stressing, so whenever is good with me. So do you have when, a Pinterest? If you do, can you put your references there? Um, I could try to, yeah. I mean, I could... Um, yeah. There's a way to upload all of them, but... Um, there's, a, could, there's a lot of them, though, and you have to get permission to do that, I think. No, not to upload for references. Sure? It's fine, yeah. Okay. But uh, the, the other thing we're trying to do is... Um, is I'm, I'm talking to Sony because um, we we did the uh, Animal Crackers movie. Mm -hmm, we were with working them. with Sony and they're going to give me um, access to their library so we could play yeah. records and we could play mm -hmm. soundtracks and whatnot While in the background. Alive. So we'll have some music mm -hmm. soon, which is really cool. Yes. Um, so we'll have officially licensed like you know, like the Spider-Man No Way Home soundtrack mm -hmm. or... It'll be specific know, whatever, you know. things that they have deemed okay for us to use. There's also a lot of anime. Um, they got My Hero Academia. They've got... Okay, um, well, whatever makes you know, A bunch of other stuff. So yeah. we'll, we'll have stuff to play in the background. So it won't be so quiet. Yeah. Not that I'm quiet ever. Okay, I'm going to go sit down. Scott's going to go sit. Because... And thanks for being here with us on this wonderful Friday. Um, and, um, we will see you guys for music Monday and, uh, have a wonderful weekend. Yeah. Have a great weekend. You guys have a fabulous Friday. And Thank a you all for weekend. hanging out with us. Thanks for being here.